Plaque buildup in the arteries of a person can cause them to become clogged. There are no quick cures for removing plaque, but people may make essential lifestyle adjustments to prevent it from forming and enhancing their heart health. Scope Care was founded to assist caregivers, family, friends, and patients undergoing and recuperating from major heart surgery. It is a specialized organization that focuses solely on the cardiac rehabilitation process, providing healing gardens, online resources, meal plans prepared by medical and healthcare professionals, and counseling and support for patients and their loved ones on a holistic recovery journey. If you're watching this, you're probably concerned about the health of your arteries, heart, or your health in general. Our goal is for you to leave here with a better understanding of how your circulatory system works and more significantly, what you can do daily to keep your arteries healthy. An increased risk of stroke is one of the most devastating outcomes of blocked arteries. Arteries become congested with the buildup of a substance known as arterial plaque. This is an accumulation of cholesterol on the artery linings. When plaque fragments break off and block your arteries, it can cause significant issues. If either of your carotid arteries becomes clogged, it can cut off blood flow to your brain, resulting in a stroke. Now that we've established why maintaining healthy arteries is critical, let's move on to how we do so. Exercise regularly. This comes as no surprise. We're sure you've heard many people tell you that exercise is healthy for you. Your doctor, your mother, your gym instructor, pretty much everyone else. But has anyone ever explained why exercise is beneficial to one's health? Or more specifically, why it's helpful in maintaining healthy arteries? Exercising, it turns out, can raise the quantity of high-density lipoproteins, or HDLs, in your body. Remember that acronym because we're going to use it again. Some HDLs, also known as good cholesterol, have been found to inhibit arterial plaque buildup. Exercise also strengthens your heart, which helps to lower your blood pressure. Exercise, of course, burns body fat. Excess body fat puts extra strain on your arteries and forces your heart to work harder than it needs to. Quit smoking. Again, this comes as no surprise, but it bears mentioning. Did you know that smoking is responsible for one out of every four deaths caused by cardiovascular disease? What causes this to happen? After all, you'd think that smoking would mainly impact the lungs. On the other hand, your body is an interconnected machine and your lungs work in tandem with your heart to get blood where it needs to go. Remember how we discussed HDL? LDL, or low-density lipoprotein, is HDL's evil twin. Too much LDL causes an increase in cholesterol deposits in your arteries. Smoking is especially harmful since it elevates your LDL while decreasing your HDL. Not only that, but the chemicals in cigarettes cause blood vessels to swell and become irritated. As a result, they become rigid and tight, allowing less blood to travel through and raising your blood pressure. The good news is that when you stop smoking, your body can begin to mend itself, naturally restoring the equilibrium of LDLs and HDLs. Eat wisely. Making an effort to consume the proper meals is one of the best things you can do to lower your cholesterol and enhance your overall heart health. The good news is that there are extensive lists of heart-healthy diets available. What's the best option out of all the ones available? Whichever works best for you. Even if you don't want to commit to a whole diet, you may intentionally incorporate some foods that have been proved to promote heart health. Kale, spinach, collard greens, berries like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, whole grains like barley, quinoa, oats, rye, fatty fish, Legumes and nuts, like almonds and walnuts, are all considered items to include in your diet. Stress Reduction Stress is an odd thing. 
It is psychological, but it has substantial physical impacts on our bodies. Long-term stress can result in headaches, exhaustion, and yes, clogged arteries. Your body will respond to stress in various ways over time, one of which increases the quantity of cholesterol in your blood and plaque deposits in your arteries. This may be the most challenging aspect to deal with. After all, the rest of the items on this list are entirely under your control. It may be difficult, but anyone can build an exercise program, control what they eat, and eventually kick the habit and quit smoking. You have very little influence over when pressures enter your life, which is unfortunate. We have no shortage of stressors, your job, your relationship, your children, your finances, and the news. So while we can't control when stressful events occur, we can influence how we respond to them. There are numerous healthy strategies to de-stress, and how we do so differs from person to person. Extroverts may go out to eat with friends, whereas introverts may curl up with a good book. Crafty folks may discover something enjoyable to make, and the handier among us may choose a home renovation project. You can cook, listen to music, take a bubble bath, or go for a run. Find something you enjoy doing and make time for it regularly. Self-care does not happen by chance. Diabetics Healthy Habits This one isn't for everyone, but vascular health is crucial for people with diabetes. For example, did you know that people with diabetes have a higher risk of developing heart disease? High blood pressure, which is connected with diabetes, is one of the reasons for the higher risk. When blood pressure is excessively high for an extended period, it affects the heart and arteries. People with diabetes must therefore be extra mindful of their health in addition to monitoring their insulin levels. The most significant component of this is controlling blood sugar levels. Diet and medication are two of the most frequent methods for accomplishing this. All heart healthy foods listed above still apply to people with diabetes, albeit they must be much more cautious about what they eat due to their condition. There are many different types of drugs accessible. If you have diabetes, talk to your doctor about which ones are right for you. The bottom line. It is far easier to maintain your clear arteries than it is to unclog them. And you can begin working on everything we discussed in this video right now. There is no better moment than the present. Aside from reducing arterial plaque, putting many of them into practice will have numerous other advantages. It's always a good idea to be checked out if you're concerned about the health of your arteries for any reason. The easiest way to do this is to have an ultrasound scan to assess the current buildup of plaque in your arteries. These tests are non-invasive and take less than 30 minutes, making them a quick and easy method to learn more about your health. Taking actions to prevent or decrease plaque creation is the most effective strategy to avoid clogged arteries at any age. This is especially beneficial for people who are at risk of plaque accumulation or atherosclerosis. A doctor can propose food and lifestyle changes based on an individual's needs and explain necessary treatment or prevention choices. Scope care is a secure and healing environment for patients and caregivers seeking to make every part relatable and motivating, from new and educational social material to stress-relieving walks through green spaces. Subscribe to see more videos like this.